Rapunzel, and the giant surprise egg. Once upon a time, in a land far, far away, there was a princess with long hair named Rapunzel. Rapunzel went for a walk in the forest one day, saw neither a bird on the branches, nor a rabbit behind the trees, nor a gazelle by the lake, nor a lion or a tiger. It's as if all the animals disappeared. I've never seen the forest so alone before, Clapsy. Neither have I, Rapunzel. Look, even the bananas on the banana tree are in their places. The monkeys have not eaten any of them. Suddenly, a giant egg fell in front of Rapunzel from the sky. Uh, what was that? I can't believe it. What is it? A huge egg? Rapunzel and her friend Clapsy approached the giant egg and took a closer look. They were very curious about what was inside the egg, which moved from side to side. Rapunzel thought she should keep the giant egg warm and would wrap her long hair around the egg. But just then, the egg suddenly jumped and landed farther away. Unable to hide her astonishment, Rapunzel went after the egg and followed it. There's definitely something alive inside the egg, Clapsy. Otherwise, it couldn't move like that. Before long, Rapunzel arrived near the giant egg. Rapunzel threw her long golden hair at the egg, caught it, and warmed it up. The giant egg, which was getting hotter and hotter, finally cracked right from the top. More than that, a huge elephant, a bear, and a horse jumped out. Ugh! How did huge elephant, bear, and a horse fit into this egg? Look, Rapunzel, another egg! There was another big egg coming out of the egg. It swung left and right and jumped farther. Rapunzel followed it immediately. Soon, the egg cracked, and a long-maned lion, a short-haired tiger, and a pitch-black puma popped out of it. Oh no! These are animals that live in the forest! There must be some bad magic involved. The new egg that emerged swung left and right like the others, and this time, jumped onto a lakeside in the forest. Rapunzel rushed to the lakeside to help. A crocodile and two ducks popped out of the cracked egg. All our lost animal friends are in the eggs, Clapsy. Meanwhile, the new egg, too, swung left and right and jumped elsewhere. Rapunzel came to the egg again and touched it with her warm hand. The egg got hot and cracked. A monkey, a squirrel, and a rabbit popped out of it. Of course, not just animals, but another egg emerged. This egg, too, swung left and right and jumped on the branch of the tree. Rapunzel threw her hair to the branches of the tree and warmed it. This time, all kinds of birds popped out of the little egg that cracked right from the top. Look at these, Rapunzel. Even free birds were trapped inside the egg. Only a small egg was left on the top of the tree. In fact, it was so small that it fell to the ground. It was about to crash into the ground and crack when Rapunzel caught it in the air and saved it. Whew, we saved it. 
Let's warm you up, little egg. Let's see what will come out of you this time. Warm between Rapunzel's hands, the egg cracked, and a caterpillar, an ant, and a locust popped out of it. Rapunzel took the tiny egg that came out of the egg to her lips to warm it, and blew her warm breath. The egg, which was fried as it got hotter, suddenly cracked. Rapunzel waited, but no animals came out of it. Hmm, is that all? I guess nothing will come out of it. Then. Camilla, the wicked witch, as small as a fly, flew out of the tiny egg. <laughs> Camilla began to fly towards Rapunzel's hair. Watch out, Rapunzel! It is the witch Camilla. Now I will go under your hair roots and get them all completely. <laughs> Even though Rapunzel tried to cover her head with her hands, the wicked witch Camilla managed to get through her hair. <laughs> well, after I pour my magic potion here, everything will be done. Just as Camilla was about to pour the potion, Clapsy suddenly caught her. Then she pulled her out of Rapunzel's hair and threw her far away. But even that couldn't stop Camilla. You can't escape from me, Rapunzel. With a quick spell, she immediately reverted herself. Run, Rapunzel! Run! While Rapunzel tried to run away from the witch, Camilla was following her, riding her broomstick. Give me your golden hair, Rapunzel! <laughs> While Rapunzel was running briskly, she suddenly lost her balance and fell to the ground. Camilla was about to take this opportunity to grab her, but a huge shadow fell over her. Dragon! At that moment, the dragon Drado, Rapunzel's dear friend, was there to help. In fact. Not only Drado, but all the animals Rapunzel saved had gathered there to help. Camilla the witch got on her broomstick and rode away from them in fear when she saw such powerful animals blocking her path. Rapunzel's best friends and the forest animals that she rescued from the giant egg promised to protect her at all times. Because a good-hearted princess knows that protecting life in the forest also means protecting flowers, teeny tiny creepy crawly critters, trees, animals, and people. <laughs> <laughs>